Alright, so let's start off with the demonstration of the normal gameplay. You can see if you look in the bottom left, there's no dot. This is not modded. And you can see that it's just normal difficulty and normal battle difficulty. But uh, it obviously will be more difficult this on higher difficulties, but the same principles still remain. I usually play on Legendary, as mentioned before. So let's start off and see how this goes. I guess I should have done this before. I think that somebody might have made a mod to save stuff. That would be nice. <laughs> I'll make sure I, I'll try to make sure I get this done next time before the next video starts. Alright, so our goal again is to auto-resolve everything. For the sake of being able to move quickly. Demolish that. Start getting some bonuses here. I'll be keeping in the army at least for a bit, just because he's a, a unit. We lose a unit there. Heal. These battles should be fought manually, if you're curious. Like, they, they really shouldn't be auto-resolving them like this, but we're doing it anyway. Recruit a lord. Repair that. Demolish that. We don't care about that. Start getting bonuses to our shades. I guess I should have done this first. Clan Greedus we're going after next, so it looks like there's no diplomacy to be done. Research available, we can go for that with one continuous slave supply very early. And we'll just heal and we'll just keep uh, bulldozing over here. Alright, off we go. And as mentioned, we'll be doing the same thing, but for the modded version after this with trying to play the same way, because again, the point of this mod is not to give you more power, it's to be less frustrating. Especially later on. The first, like, 30 turns, honestly, it won't be as big of a deal. It's mainly when slave consumption scales out of control late game that it gets really frustrating. Um, again, I am able to deal with it anyway. I've beaten the game, like, 100 turn 118 legendary, domination victory. That doesn't mean it wasn't a little frustrating at the end. Let's bring our other lord along. Need to keep getting slaves. This is going to start being shade construction. We need to keep recruiting. I wonder. If I force march, I could get over there next Fear turn. The this is actually something I've, I've never actually recruited another lord this fast. I kind of was doing some shower thinking and was like, hang on a second. That'd actually be really helpful, wouldn't it? If I, especially if I can get there. Here, which I'm not sure I can. I, this is something new I'm testing, because why not? Our shades are now got some nice boosts. I don't know. Anything new here? Nope. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm used to Morethi's first province being really uh, annoying to take compared to a lot of other people's first province, but uh, this might getting that. I, I probably honestly could have. Uh, I might. Okay. Yes. I could have gotten a second lord there, couldn't I have? I didn't even think I about that. I could have gotten a second lord right there this turn. That would have been even better. Because right now I have money, but I don't have units. And then disband the lords when they're not needed. That would have been a smarter plan. But hey, live and learn, right? Okay, now we should be able to bring you down here. Again, we could have three lords at this point. Money's not an issue. Now we bring you over here. Easily win. We're about to have a rebellion. 
I'm just gonna combine all of this stuff. And we want to just grab in these lords. Marathi can't recruit, but you can. Enchanting beauty. Until we get more shades, let's actually start going for Dread Slaper. We want to get to 800 All slaves ASAP. As soon as we get to 800 slaves, you can do the a Sacrifice to Cain, which will help a lot. You, oh, I'm just going to give you some personal bonuses, because you're not really going to have any troops yet. And we can do the Sacrifice to Akarty, but we don't want to do that yet. A rebellion happens, oh no. Maybe this rebellion will give us uh, enough slaves to hit the 800 mark. That or the final battle versus Sildur Tor, I think, should. Losing 100 slaves per turn here because we are uh, deeply unhappy. Here. And you can deliver these to Marathi and be there. And Marathi can now be recruiting shades. Now this rebellion will grow, but I don't think it'll be big enough to spark to allow them to do anything here. So we'll have a few turns to recruit shades. Upgrades available. Ideally, we want to prioritize anything that gets us money without consuming slaves in the modern version, so the wine to trade would be very valuable. Note that if you're playing Crone Hellebron or Malekith, um, you cannot basically have a right done already. Because you get either fighting lots of little Skaven, or get a, a capture Mother bonus. Alright. We're only losing 63 I slaves per turn Phoenix now. Praise Phoenix be to Cain. We will crush this rebellion Dreadful. very easily. Heart render to the vengeful slaughter. Okay, we're pretty close now to having what we need. I am the first sorcerer. And then I'm actually going to recruit shades with you. So the that I can force not. March Marathi you up. The problem is that once we get into the Skaven over here, a lord by themselves is just kind of a sitting duck to be ambushed by the Skaven since Dark Elves don't have encamp stance. So, we'll be disbanding these lords pretty soon as a result. We still don't man- we still haven't managed to get uh, any bonuses from slaves yet. Well, I guess we have managed to get one bonus. We have obviously are getting the extra income from these buildings, right? So we still have plenty of money, it's not a problem at all. And then six turns until we get a big boost to our slave income. I'm trying to move quickly here, obviously, because this is already going to be a longer video. Clock around has been destroyed. Naturally. Marathi move With down here. Ambition. It's your last turn of recruiting Blood shades. I march onwards. Give these to Marathi. Conquest lies ahead. Slap these over here. We'll use them for another turn or two. Uh, what else do we care about getting? We are going to want death hags. Getting the port up too would also be good. Uh, since we're only playing a normal, our public order is really not an issue. We'd have minus eight if we were playing 
legendary, which would make this a lot trickier, and I would not be able to rush as fast. My lord, arrival I power. am not paying you for that. As soon as we finish the wine, they'll probably want it. Stack here with a decent chunk of shades. Let's bring the other lords along just to be here. And we can use these to recruit a few more shades as Marathi moves on. Okay, this should now put us over, yes, 565. Okay. We now have enough slaves to do the sacrifice to Cain, but we're not going to do that till next turn because we won't be fighting any more battles this turn. And thus, it, and we're not wounded enough that we really need to worry about it. Upside, you can come back over here. The mother. And we're actually starting to run lower on funds, so and I think let's go ahead and disband you. Noble blood. We'll recruit another pair of shades. This will put us into the negative income-wise, but that'll change in a turn here, basically. Damaged building, iron spike. We want to be building iron, because it gives us base income. I greet us. We're not doing anything with you. Well, rather, we're about to declare war on you next turn. We're not going to be near the coast, so the Black Ark isn't as critical to get out here. But that'll be hopefully five turns after sacrifice digging, because that slave income boost is such just such a big deal. Due to the way the, the system's math works, a 25% bonus, for example, is not actually 25% more. It can be more than double or whatever. Um, because I think it starts off, let's say, at you get 10% of the casualties as slaves, but then if you get a 25% boost, it's now 35%, and obviously that becomes much, much better. So we're going to do our sacrifice to Cain. You see that we are just short a little bit here, which is fine. We're going to come okay. over here, and oh, golly gee, who could have guessed? They're Skaven. And we are going to declare war. Is mine. Hacked sorcery. All right, we are now back up to 1,200, and we're getting some more money here. So that means we can keep recruiting, increase these, increase that. And in fact, we're going to have so many slaves overflowing in a second here, you can see we can't really hold many more that... Uh, to come back here, and we're going to use the this Dictat Slave Drive, plus 50 growth, minus construction cost in all buildings. One catch, as you'll probably see here, is we're going to get to the point where we just can't use the Slave Dictats everywhere. We just Dictat it out, basically, you might right. say. Because you can only use one per province, and we're only going to like two provinces, and it's like, well, what are we going to do with all these excess slaves? There's literally nothing we can do with them. They're just completely wasted. We'll move Marathi back up, we'll drop some of the Dread Spears, we'll grab more Shades. This all seems fine. We'll have Wine next turn, which we can use to try to trade with somebody. Morphin rot. Okay, so Marathi, we're going to have you move Let all up swim. here. And let's offer Ask this bait. If the Lord gets ambushed, Captain unfortunate, but Agreeable. the sacrifice will be remembered. Okay. 
let's see what, if anything, they do. We are now down below 800, so we have lost any slave construction bonuses, which means we're going to actually wait to build this, because the next turn will be, we should be back above. Yeah, now all of a sudden... You know what? Sure, Hexawaddle. not going to build that because we want to get the bonus next time. Our, our public order isn't looking great here. It probably would be rebelling already. We do have that dictate we can use for plus 20 public order. Keep in mind it can only be active in one province in your entire empire, which is a major problem once you're dealing with, you know, more than just a few uh, provinces at the start. So we'll see whether this ambush works or not here. They're coming for it. To the vengeful slaughter. I have need of slaves. And presumably he's going to go oh, he's just running. Not a cowardly rat. Okay. Public order looks like it could be a problem here, and I'm expecting to get a bunch of slaves from this next battle, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this fight to the death, uh, which gives public order issue here. Really, I probably could have done the other one, given the difficulty, but oh well. Tyrant Peak. Can bring up our second lord. Dread Commander! Guide us, Kay. There. Okay, see, this is why we had to use those slaves before, because now we are over. How scheming. And we're going to have a rebellion here, which is fine. Dark Lord, power awaits me. With noble purpose, the Sunderer. Okay. Marathi has a skill point. We want to get that first sorceress, so we can get a sorceress in these armies. I don't know, let's go with that, that's fine. And three turns, we'll be able to summon a black arc. Now we can upgrade this wine in one go, we can improve that. Imminent rebellion, yep. Yes, yes, as the Skaven would say. I'm gonna try to not annoy Hexwaddle more than he's already annoyed. We don't need trouble down in the south. And so if you're wondering when looking at this, like, well, the, this seems to be working okay so far, what's the big deal? And I mean, that's a fair question. Uh, I think I've probably already said this earlier in, in the video, but it basically comes down to once you get past the first bit, it starts working a lot less well. And even then, I think we'll start seeing some issues here. But... Uh, it is a lot more playable now than it, it was in earlier patches, to be sure. Doesn't mean it's as enjoyable as it should be. It's a game system. Alright. So now we have a problem. We already have 1,500 slaves. We've already used a diktat here, the slave drive, and we've already used a diktat here, open markets. There is no other way for us to spend slaves. Zero. We are. We cannot get rid of any of the slaves that we have. They're just there. Uh, we're basically, and, and you're thinking, okay, but what's the big deal? The big deal is we're about to fight this battle and we're about to overflow. So, um, let's go ahead and pop that down. We're not recruiting shades, so I'm going to switch our shades over to here, I think. And we're going to just upgrade these. And then... Your will be done. Enchanting. So we just got 462 slaves, Need so where will be our slave cap? There's nothing we can do with the slaves at all. Is it time? And it it's about to will. get even worse. Because we're about to fight this battle. We're already slave capped. And there's nothing we can do. We've already used a diktat in each province. 
There's just nothing we can use Show it for. No. To arms, there goes uh, there goes uh, about a thousand slaves wasted. Phoenix, nothing we please. can do about it. And then you, I do want to move. Make sure you're Go south now. here. If any of these were level 2, we could keep recruiting shades, but we don't have that right now. Okay, so we're upgrading everything we can here. We're about to have another rebellion, actually. Even though we had that plus, uh, plus 20 control, it's not enough to, to stop the rebellion here. No, wait, it is. It is. Sorry, I don't know what I was talking about. But it's only minus 14. Yes, okay, so it won't rebel. The mother. And we get the first sorceress. And that yes. allows us to recruit a pair of sorceresses here. Servant of Hecate. Which gives us the amber amulet. I probably shouldn't... You know, one actual downside of doing that right there, ironically, as you may have noticed if you played Dark Elves before, Mission complete, the Amber Amulet. Alright, we get 5,000 gold and 500 slaves. Guess what? Slaves go nowhere. Uh, they're just wasted. There's no the way to, to use them on enemies. anything. Stop me if you've heard this one before. What? And we can grab a second sorceress as well. Sorceress of and we'll try to Enacting recruit, even death, if they're just design. basic Dread Spears, they are something. Okay, we're still making 830 gold a turn. We are not trading all the wine we could be, so if we maybe we'll find somebody else for that. I have brought them ruin. I really like this idea of getting that second lord early on. I haven't I hadn't needed that really with other Dark Elf Lords, but with Marathi given how her first few combats work, that actually seemed really your helpful. Belies your and he is running up there. Okay. And any time we want to try to avoid losing slaves here. Alright, Marathi, let's have you channel, I guess. Ambition makes pace. Cain wills it. Ride, Solipet. Pretty... Oh, well, I should have transferred one of these Dread Spears out first, and I forgot to do so. It's not the end of the world, I can Ooh. do so next turn. Your will, dark Attach the All sorceress. Just move the other I sorceress up for now. We're continuing to recruit because money is something we're not lacking. Build them, build that there. We're gonna want death hags soon. Be able to take out the plane of dogs here, then we move to the east, then we go for the Witchwood. I think we're about on turn 20 so far. Yes, we also have Korok Man Ripper here, though. I'm disinclined to listen, but I must. 600 gold for a peace treaty. Wow. How could I pass that up? Um, hmm. I can't reach the plane of dogs there. But and that is... If I attack this, right, they'll just retreat and I can't follow them, so I have to take this out first. Marathi commands you. Fight. Okay. And then we will... Dreadlord, awaiting command. Oh, that is just outside the, the range. You know what? The hell with it. With haste. 
I guess I could have slapped it in the other one. It's wasting a dread spear, but whatever. Okay. Anyway, so as you may recall, we have a. I think we had our dictat run out here. We can hit another dictat here. Here, hooray! Uh, so we are now down 700 slaves. I bet you can guess the what the next thing here is going to be. I'm going to actually upgrade this first. So I want to be able to get started at the Death Hag building chain there. And behold, there's another 1,500 slaves. And there's nothing we can do with them. Um, I might actually keep this for the moment, that's just because just that allows me to recruit Dark Shards now. That'd be better. Okay, I can also do... Oh, you know what? <laughs> I was stupid. We could have done the sacrifice to Mathlin at the start of the turn and not wasted some of those slaves. I got so caught up in, in the refrain that I messed it up. So that should have been done before that battle there. Whoops a daisy. Oh, and we wasted another 500 slaves from finishing the Wand of the Cadan. Amazing. Okay. Well, it's fine. Destructive, this one. Useful. Go on. Just getting some good magic. It what? How Dread King welcomes you. What do you wish to discuss? I don't know if I actually dead. care about me. I, yeah, I think I'm just gonna ignore him for now. Let him fight the high elves. Then obviously we'll be going for Ice Rock Gorge next, and then we'll try to pick up the Witchwood. We also got to deal with these beastmen. We'll see what, if anything, they do. But yes, I should have done the sacrifice to Mathland first, and then yeah, I'd be slave capped at this point. Century. Just hold still. Like Is he declaring like war? He's declaring war. Is he gonna ambush me? He is going to run all the way down there. Well, that's rather annoying. So he attacked me, failed the ambush, and is running, and I can't catch up with him easily now, because that's just a little rude. Okay. So I can't catch up with him. So what can I do? So first of all, I feel like I might as well try this. Success! Success. Okay, so he won't be able to move as far. And then we just bring ourselves and we go here. And if he tries to... if he jumps, we probably won't be able to intercept him. This guy's just being a little bit of a jerk, I'm telling you. I'll just keep moving over here. I was hoping to yeah, be able to fight him that turn, but he didn't want to go for it. Okay. And then... More wine. I guess more wine doesn't really help us right now, but oh well. He is subtracted 50% movement. When do we you know what? Are they all, 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 they're only fighting the people to their north? Why aren't you fighting all for one? But I think the AI, the, the developers are like, yeah, there's an AI problem where they literally don't see people that they should. Which means they don't declare war on each other. Which means you'd have things like, you know, Tyranrock sailing over and attacking me instead of the Dreadholds there. Even though the Dreadholds are weaker and closer. Metable Hemlock is running up there, okay. He's the sieging us. Please tell me we are able to auto-resolve this and I don't have to fight it, but I might have to fight it. Nagaroth nobility. Merciless one. I can't uh have to deal with this first. Yeah, there we go. I was like I should this shouldn't be a problem. Before I do that, let's check. Okay, I can. So I can't do the slave dive because that was already used over here. So that dictat's used up. I could do a dictat here. 
Um, the one for fights to the death doesn't really seem as needed. I'd rather use that up here. So let's use that up there. And we don't have, we are not able to do this last one. Requires 600 slaves. This should give us, there we go, 54, 1500 slaves right there. Uh, so then we can activate this, which gives us a thousand gold. We will move up. Do not cease. I command you now. And defend you this city. I can feel the power. Dark and then we will. The I think so. We, let's just confirm. We've already used our rights. We have used a diktat here. We have used a diktat here, and we have used a diktat here. Okay. So now we come here, and there's another 2,100, and there's just nothing we can do with it. Now they will need to come and attack us, I believe. Obviously we can't recruit because we forced marched up here. But we also are up at the 2,000 mark, which means we get our next little economic bonus. And let's guild build some roads here. It'll give us a little bit of a boost. You know what? I think the death get well we can always replace this later, but let's get I want to get two death hags rolling up front. Up to the top. Uh, we now can pick up Insidious, which allows us to get endless scheming and some other things. That's my preferred one, but they're both decent. The power is mine. We're in turn 15 so far. Search available. As you see, we have a lot of money, and we need to figure out ways to start spending it. So I'm probably going to just... You know what, I can... I guess... Uh, I could get Black Art Corsairs, but it's not urgent, so I'm probably just not going to. What I could do... Dreadlord, awaiting I get this lord from before. You just start recruiting more shades. Start building up an army for the Black Ark, and I'll just transfer them to the Black Ark each turn. We'll let Hag Hall survive for a moment, because we want to make sure we take out the Witchwood first. Our goal here of sorts is that we want to secure the north with Marathi and this other army. And then after the north is secure, then we'll be building up more forces down south to launch an invasion of Ulthuan. This army should just continue keep going north. And we are surrounded. We cannot use a diktat here. We cannot use a diktat here. We cannot use a diktat here. Favored of the Witch King! Again, this is like mostly just Skaven slaves. Only the warp fire throwers are any real threat plus the chieftain. We got dark shards. Let them know touch. I guess we'll take 525 gold because we can't use the slaves. Let them go this time. Definitely feels disappointing. Will the wild. Okay, so then we're going to be coming up here. I think this should be fine. We can re keep, keep recruiting. Astro Gorge. We need to find a way to spend slaves right here. We have too many slaves. I'm not really planning on being friends with any of you. And one more turn, we can build, start building these manors to help the Black Ark grow faster. I sacrificed to Cain last seven more turns. At that point, we lose the regeneration bonus. Presume my patience. They're offering us friendship. We are going to politely decline. What do you want? 
They're going to declare war. Sisters of Twilight looks like they lost a lot of stuff. Alright, sure, Drac the Coven, we're going to kill you like next turn, but what will you pay us to join war against there? Alright, a thousand gold. I'll take it. I also forgot to transfer the shades to the Black Ark, because I'm really trying to rush things here. Witchwood is down. I have seized it all. Fear the dark. Building money here, given it's red, is probably not a great idea. So let's get growth, because we want to actually, yes. well, grow. For that to be somewhat useful later on. Yeah. Come dictate use, dictate use, dictate use. Having to come back to each one to check the status of the dictate is also a little annoying. We're not recruiting any dark shards right now, so we can jettis in that. Good news, we could use a Dictat here, but at this point we kind of don't want to because they'll drop us under. We'll, we we don't want to do it before the battle, which obviously we couldn't. So just a, a lot of this just winds up being individually frustrating. Ashen Coast, uh, Iron Spike I believe is yeah, good terrain. So drop these off. Three loyalty. A vile corruption spread. That could wind up being a concern. I admire it. your dark. Alright. Mother of the truth. And then we grab Shroud of Despair, minus ten leadership. Local province. Very powerful. I am the first sorceress. Enchanting beauty. Dreadlord! Keep moving forward. And we want to wipe out sisters and Clark Hurrah and then uh, the beastmen up there probably more and then we can come take out this stuff shortly thereafter. We'll look for opportunities to get more units into that secondary lord's army. We're obviously building up a new army down south. We'll see if we can find some way to get in some items or whatever to improve their loyalty. At a minimum, we should get some kind of uh, dilemma, right? Being like, take this penalty or they get a worse loyalty type thing. They're all fighting around down there. There we go, loyalty plus three. We take attrition, that's fine. It used to be like 50% attrition, it was kind of crazy. On I mean, the flip side, this is also kind of like... I guess if you're expecting to heal, it's a problem, because it's to prevent you from healing, but otherwise it's a pretty small downside. I'm gonna go try to take out the Sisters of Twilight up here. We're not bothering to recruit because it takes two turns, because it's bad terrain. And just to make sure that is, yes. Okay. We can do a... right, of course right now we're not slave-capped, and we're not going to be slave-capped this turn. This gives more XP for our sorceresses, basically, as well as help make sure your magic is topped off. This gives control and loyalty to lords. We can always use that if we wind up needing it. We're at turn 18. We're kind of steamrolling here. Um, we can do that. We're still recruiting. Now your loyalty is good. 
So really before recruiting we should give them to the Admiral, just to save some money. And then six turns the Admiral will grow to rank two. And then like six turns after that we can start recruiting shades to him as well. Okay. We're not gonna bother with the heart render and the dark dark sword because that takes time and we're already trying to rush through this. I think I already underestimated how long just 30 turns would take here. No pressure on me either, right? If I mess up, it's uh, like forgetting to do the arc first. But as you saw, we just overflowing in so many sleeves. It just didn't matter. And we're overflowing, the, the catch is we're overflowing in slaves now, and then later on we feel like it's very super difficult to keep up, like you have to fight 15 plus battles a turn, often. Well good, they're we not almost a traitor anymore. Destroy them all! For the witch king! Rookie servant! Onwards! Onwards! No! That's not a problem. Fight. We did get a s what was theirs is slightly over slave cap, but not a lot, which is why I didn't bother using other stuff. Temple of Adioth. Okay, we want to keep growing. Okay, we do have. Sorry, we did. I guess the the dictat did expire down there, so I should have gone around and checked every single province to see whether the, the dictat had expired. Clark Rond is the the herdstone instead of Storic Core. That's interesting. Is it time? Dark Savage. Okay, so what do I want to do over here? I'm definitely more concerned with Clark Rond than the pirates at the moment, but maybe I just move Marathi up and keep this other lord down here. Keep recruiting, basically. And get some dark shards popping out here. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Yes. Marathi will move on. Noble of Nagarok. Next destruction! Put the loyalty down. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. Dreadlord, awaiting command. Money's not a huge issue. <laughs> the Favorite assets makes her shades kind of supercharged. Untouchable, yeah, plus 10 uh, attack and defense for Shades and Dark Riders. And the Kane region, not will. even just her army. The whole region. Destructive, this one. Useful. Anarian's Bride. What? The new flame fire magic, research available, upgrade. Down to 186 factions left. The mother of the Druki will hear your request. I'm staying out of this because I'm planning on destroying you both pretty soon anyway. And we're at war with the Slaughterhorn tribe, which probably means they're going to get cranky at us. Well, you know what we can do? What? I can move, we can go take out Direfin, move up this way, leave this other one to guard, and then take out Clark around on the way. I think that might be a better notion. Uh, so we're going to race forward here. Cruise, the of death. We are not currently slave capped. Druki. What awaits me? 
It's like, I'm all I am to you, a shade recruiting machine? Black yes, kind of. Blue. We don't have the funds to upgrade that. Doesn't actually give that much more money anyway, so I'm not really concerned. Um, Source's capacity wouldn't be a bad thing, but I kind of feel like I'm more concerned with money right now. I'm trying to build up another army no, here. I think I'm more concerned with the money, so I'm going to focus on that. It's turn 20, we effectively have a really good army with Marathi, a solid army with the Dread Spears and Dark Shards, and we're, we are nearly have an admiral stocked with shades down here who can go off and do things. might just send uh, this the Lord up with the shades oh that's I speak for the truth that's not great what is it you desire Beastman can pop out and declare war and destroy the witchwood I don't know it's just I don't know if it's actually worth investing any more resources to guard it is kind of the thing probably not. Hey, we found Tarox. Well, let's hope that this army is enough to, to hold the line there. We got other things to worry about. Uh, we're gonna need to use some slaves here. So let's go ahead and use the sacrifice to Akarti, because we don't need the control right now. And I think we're going to need to use more slaves still, so let's increase this. More growth and cheaper costs. 1,500 slaves, that's probably okay now. Your kind has had such a tragedy. I can do Alright, we'll declare war here. Immediately. Show no to the her. What's theirs yeah, is mine. That gives about a thousand. Ashen Coast. Scarple's Lair. That's Titan Peaks. We want to improve that. Improve that. Like, this is... That's good. I mean, th we're paying 4,000 gold for 100 gold a turn. Growth, a little bit of research rate, and like a few hundred gold. I mean, not even a few hundred gold, like maybe 100 gold if we're lucky. It's just a longer term investment for sure. Okay, we're at the point where. Conquest lies ahead! Rookie Lord. I think it's time to disband you. You'll be able to recruit in just a few turns more, but we can probably go see if there's anything of interest over here. I should have used up... Yeah, I guess it's not too much of a 8,000 gold from that. The ocean awaits. Plotting a course. Which I guess we can use to upgrade that. Hooray. Fear my malice. Remember, shades do cost uh, like 240 gold baseline. If you're wondering how is it that they're so strong, it's effective. That's having 12 shades in his army is like having 18 dark shards or. Basically, a full army of Dread Spears and Dark Shards. Turn 20. Maybe we'll just go to turn 25 here. Cause I think you're getting the, the picture here. I don't know how much more this is really going to be helpful. 
So here we're expecting Tarox to attack. We're hoping we're going to be able to beat him, and we have another beastman who might be causing problems, but there's not really a ton we can do about it right now. He's in the hidden encampment. Patient at these constant interruption. She's asking for peace, no surprise there. Comes Tyrex, here comes Tyrex. Right down, store Carlane. He's coming to the temple of Addy, off to raise it down again. With any luck, though, yeah, most of his stuff is just garbage spearmen herds and the like. This no, army can no. probably take him, but that's going to give us a lot of slaves, and we need some to be able to do something with that. Also, do we go ahead and pincer this at this point? I'm sort of thinking maybe. Old one's busy with the Dreadfleet over there, it looks like. Oh, Dreadfleet's taking over like everything there. Okay, so I want to pincer this first. No, you know what? This More is a good... El eliminating Tarix has to take top priority. Well, let's find out if we can win first. Okay, so we gotta use... Is there any slaves we can use? Public order here is fine, so we'll sell 600 slaves just for funds, which only gives 600 funds. It's a really bad trade-off. Um, our public order here is okay, so I guess we'll sell more slaves. I don't... okay, it's probably okay to fight this now. Twelve hundred slaves. Dark Lord. Pick them apart. Enacting my dark. And we'll get ready to settle Storic Core here. Take a little Master bit of attrition, Kuzi. right? Oh no. Oh, because it's chaos corruption, and we don't care about chaos corruption, Phoenix right? Queen. Right. Restless malice. Your will be done. I don't know if we'll be able to actually hit that next turn. Probably not. We have 13 settlements. I recently did a Kiesel Legendary campaign, or I am doing it. On turn 30, I checked. I had 15 yes. settlements on turn 30 in comparison here. But you know what? Probably might as well just attack. We're not befriending them. They're not fighting Skeggy down there. So... Let's go beat them up and take their stuff. And... I suppose... How are we doing on funds? We seem to be doing okay. But remember, we need, like, 5,000 positive income to be able to afford another full shade army. And right, in the, having it sit around draining funds while recruiting is not great. So I think we can just... let's just recruit some Dread Spears for now. Oh, that was probably not a great idea because of Exarian up there. That was probably a bad idea indeed. Okay. I regret doing that now. What can we do to, to assess? I forgot that I didn't... Yeah, I should have looked more carefully. I thought they were mainly beaten up. Okay. So this is going to be a big problem. Favored of the Witch King. So let's... We, we have a few regiments we can bring in if needed. In but this could be... not good. Dreadlord, awaiting command. Vicious Dreadlord. I should've just chilled, honestly. I should've just chilled until, uh... Tarox was dealt with. I want him out of the picture. Beastmen are the worst, because they can just stay there in a hidden encampment, build up to a 20 stack, and then attack you, and then go back into hidden encampments. He's just 
interesting. They're recruiting. A vile plan. We have a deal. They have ten and six. I suspect we're not going to be able to win this fight in auto resolve. We probably could win it in manual, but let's find out. Maybe it'll surprise me. I'd manually fight this, but I'm trying not to do anything, so you know what? Fine. Fine, 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 fine. You made me do it. Congratulations. Malevolent Lord. We'll be able to start recruiting replacement shades in just a few turns here, so it's okay. Healing up for now. Recruiting more units over here for now. Okay, we'll be able to take out Clark Karan, which means we need to go and find a way to spend slaves, check everything over diktat-wise, planar dogs, and which wood we can both get a thousand gold from... Rebellion here actually wouldn't be the end of the world because we have our Admiral sitting there anyway, so let's prioritize the other ones, I guess. Alright, so open markets, then another open markets, which get, it just gives us 600 slaves for 1,000 gold. If you're wondering, is that a good ratio? The answer is hell no. As you can see from here, we're already getting 382 gold from 60 slaves a turn, so it's over a 6 to 1 ratio. And that's not even a 2 to 1 ratio, it's like a 1.66. It is a horrible ratio, it is an option of last resort. But otherwise the slaves are just completely wasted, so... I think I will just stop at turn 25 here. I think the point is more than made. Slaughterhorn tribe is destroyed, we have Clark Harand. We can move these armies over there. We don't want to build normal income there, we want to build something that doesn't consume slaves. Oh, and we've had the ability to recruit death hags for a bit now. You see, this is what happens when you just try to rush so much. Just miss, miss obvious things. I'm going to need more death hags, obviously. I like more, want more death hags. We're close to slave cap because we had to spend some, generate some extra funds. Uh, some of our shades are getting high up in XP. Got board of Cain. The power is mine. A terror to their enemies. This movement. Bidding. Lord of the Black Court. He'll slowly heal. He does heal more with the Death Hag. Growing pretty decently over here otherwise. And we are we'll, we'll plan on recruiting once it's a little bit better position where we'll plan on trying to recruit more units here. We will be able to approve like five shades a turn to get an army up and running quickly. We're saving some of our regiments for now because if Exarian's probably going to attack over there. We're not too concerned with the north. We just want to let them go fight each other. Also, we can pop the troops out of the Admiral and just have a Lord take him on land here. Okay, here comes Xarion. He's coming back to reclaim it. That's good. That's what we actually want. My powers are growing. Noble Delicious. Send the Death Hags north. And we need to get more capacity Noble for Lord. them. Marathi, we can just can settle this, that's fine. There's Nagarond up there. He just doesn't like us, interesting, okay. 
You don't care what we're doing with the drowned. Just in case. What? And right now we're going to be growing at like 9 or 11 per round, right? So pretty soon, in like two turns, we'll do recruit shades, I think, something like that. Maybe we'll go to 30. I know, I can't make up my mind. I'm horrible. Uh, again, we'll put roads here eventually, It's, but for right now, I'll grab this just because I want more death hack capacity. We can replace it later. Ideally, you build death hack capacity in smaller provinces. We just have a lot of four city provinces over here right now. Now we're having, we're going to have a, a rebellion here, but we can activate the sacrifice to authority to help us, so that'll be okay. The corruption's actually going down, we have no active source of corruption, okay, okay. So they think I'm not going to grab the Circle of Destruction, because Lethanar is probably up there. Let's, let's finish off the drown first and then carefully make our way. Leith and R's ambushes are really nasty. The elves are marching and trying to retake their stuff. Gullets have been obliterated. What? So let's just bring you over here. Feel my you come over here. Destroy for the witch king. What was theirs is mine. Hagged sorcerers. Now text column, we build not the industry, though again. Slaves aren't an issue now, but they become an issue later. And that fundamental frustration is one of the things that I'm not thrilled with the base game here. And we wanted corruption here. That's what we wanted. The the corruption from the vampire corruption is not great, coupled with the lack of our own corruption. But we can activate a right next turn. So that should be okay. Cool and deadly. Uh, we don't want to upgrade you. We want to build a shade thing next turn. Honestly, with 17 units and that many shades, I think he's fine. This is probably also overkill or not needed up there, but... I live. Death Hex continue north. Mixing spells. I'm bitten not to destroy. I'm sure you're going to declare war on me, yep. So we need to keep an eye out for the vengeance of Elethanar. Eventually going to be something we'll need to worry about fighting, I'm sure. Exarian is just chilling there, waiting for the end. I don't I don't really know what his game plan here is. Okay, those are the beastmen. You see how what I mean now they have a full 20 stack? That's what I hate about the beastmen. Fly, 
bring back spoils. With noble purpose. I'm going to just intentionally take some attrition here in effect. Noble blood. Move, you maggots! Not with Marathi, but the other one is worth, worth taking. Favored of the Witch King. Dreadlord of Magnum. We don't have any way. We're about to have an imminent rebellion, right? Yes. Dark destiny. I shall. So we're gonna need to pop that right. Because we can't activate we still have this uh Wait, do we, we have plus 20 control activated there? That's, is that right? No, that's in Hag Hall. Okay, I was like, that can't be us, yeah. The, we, we did the fights to the death for the money at the time. I guess we should have done... Uh, no, that's, that's a tooltip bug, right? We did the open markets. It's the, it's, this is the bug I fixed. We did the open markets for the money. Control seemed okay at the time. I should have looked more closely. Rushing. We should have done fights to the death. Which meant that this would have been okay, but now we can't do it because we use the other thing, which means we have to use this whole sacrifice to authority instead. That's right. I'm still grabbing things here. Actually, we want to wait, I guess. We're currently burning about 500 slaves a turn. Chaos corruption, we don't care. Dread Lord of the Druki. And now we could start recruiting shades here. What we probably want to do is bring out our previous Dread Lord. And, and we're gonna just give her I admire your all of these troops I here next dark turn dark in effect. Darkness. And he, you're just it's chilling time. over there with 14 troops. Soon, soon. You've already Speak moved, okay. Garrison Lord not moved, yeah, I know you're kind of not really doing anything. Without those beastmen worrying me. Once she, she gets her units, she'll be able to move up and we'll have this section under control. What is it you see? Obviously, we're about to fight a big. You know what? We're already friends with them. We might as well remain friends with them. Man, everyone views this as a, a big threat. It's kind of rude. So now obviously taking these units out of the Auric will cost us a lot of money. Blooded Axe Trip, that's the one over there, right? Yes, okay, the Beastmen are down, good. Okay. Dreadlord, I, approve of these dark now, I don't remember if you can just grab it now without issue, but just to be safe. I'm going to, well, Across be safe. Yes. And we don't want to put the Ark, the Admiral, in there because of the Dark Elf Bud, where they lose the aura. So we're going to keep him out of the city. I see we're making a chunk less money there. Alright, Marathi. Let's lay siege here. Is I think that's not quite the outcome we were hoping for. Now she should run away. What a pointless request! Now that's an easy win. Put them in shades. And then this is also should be an easy win. Revenge of and we get 1,800 slaves. What's theirs is mine. The drowned are gone. 
the Hag Queen reigns supreme. Now we're not healing as fast as I'd like. Moving. What awaits me? But that's why we're bringing the Death Hags up here. We're back to over the 2,000 slave mark because of those battles right there. Let's keep recruiting more here. Bride of madness. And the death hags continue north. This should have happened earlier. Okay. Some desert. We can do this, I guess, for more slightly more income first. It doesn't really matter too much. Skill points. We're starting to get very elite shades, so I think I'm gonna go and assist with that. I am the first get them there. Elite bonuses. Destructive, this one. Three turns Destructive. to go. Arcane conduit's fun. Pair these. Ready to leave. Your desire? Nagarond really doesn't Stop. like me because he uses he's the main dead. threat mainly. I think one thing we want to do. Maybe I'll do this. Okay, we have some money left over. Kragoth Deep is unclaimed. Let's recruit a new lord and see if we can claim those two cities. And if we man Circle of Destruction should be fine at this point. As we're, we're going up north. Or maybe I'll prioritize Kragoth deep. I don't know. I'll, I'll think in a moment. But we can trade Kragoth deep then to Malekith, and that should get us in his good fate graces. That's kind of the tentative plan, yeah. Not to gain anything, Dreadfleet. He's going to defend. We should be able to still out outpower that. Colonies there. Okay. For the Witch King. Well, if Alethanar is definitely Perfect. over there, then this area is a lot safer than I feared. Favored of the Witch King. So I think Fury. we can just go ahead and roll up here. Destruction lies beyond. It's turn twenty. We're running out of time. So let's start by coming over here. Bloodlust. But we wouldn't be able to reach... I know, we guess we would have barely been able to reach without Morathi's bonus. Claim your pride, back over the 2,000 mark. I watch from the shadows. And we're going to go ahead and move I up here. Janash is going to go. You should be well within the arc range. Kill, yes. kill, that should kill. be a win. Destruction lies beyond. Claim your Let me see. At this point, we're starting. We're starting. We're not going to have as much of a problem of capping. And we're getting the nice healing bonus from the Black Ark. We also have room for another Death Hag. Uh, we don't have room for another sorceress, yes, but we can send out a death hag to help this other army. Um, you can't actually quite reach that now. No surprise. Enacting my dark desire. The hags are continuing north. 
Interesting. It's a good thing we also never had to manually to fight a battle, because there was at least another bug with Marathi. Alright, we're not going to be able to befriend Malekith before the session ends. Oh well. Still have another 15k lying around. Let's upgrade. City and Peaks. Uh, yeah, let's do... We're not selling all of our lumber, are we? No, furs? We are. Okay, so let's upgrade the furs. And then here... I think it's just 10 slaves per turn and more casualties captured, I suppose. Such slaughter awaits. Let's move on up. I think that'll affect that. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and hit this now. Fights to the death. I'm gonna want it here, I think. We can approve this, and... We can recruit another pair of shades here. Actually, we can recruit a whole bunch of shades, can't we? Yeah, you all combine. Alright. I feel like I'm rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic a bit here. A terror to their enemies. Oh, I didn't have any dreaded slaver points. No wonder we weren't, we weren't getting more. And I'm just gonna... Uh, I can repair it, whatever. It's only 400 gold. So basically we'll have conquered quite a bit in these first 30 turns. Are you befriending us, or...? How does... No diplomatic contact. Um, you know what? Sure. Those resources won't trade for much, and it's bad wasteland. It's not great. We could use it to generate some slaves, but, I mean, we'd be generating at most 30... 70 slaves. We'd get 70 slaves a turn, which at best case scenario is worth, like, 500 gold a turn, and this trade agreement will go way up over time. So, sure. We'll befriend the Tomb Kings, and we'll trade land to Malekith to get an alliance, or at least trade agreement and non-aggression with him. We'll figure out what the Witch King wants. I don't remember if this is going to be th turn 30 or it's turn 29. We're coming down to the wire here. Oh, we got raiding season. Nice. It is turn 29. Okay, so we got two more full turns of which to do things. Let's, let's start here. Dark servant. As ordered. Oh, Lethanar let both capitals. That's fine. We can then pick the capitals off. There's 415. As long as we're back over that 2,000 mark, we can proceed here. Yeah, see, we lost 600 slaves last turn, we've already gained 1,000 this turn, and then next turn we will attack Hag Hall. Well, I guess two turns, it'll take two turns to do that. Because we have to siege it first, we don't have a siege attacker yet. Um, I'm not going to replace these from the Black Ark. Damn you. 
That should be in range next turn, yeah. Because we want to replace those with two heroes anyway, so whatever. This army is going to get disbanded soon, too. Yeah, we can't possibly get there in two turns, so we guess we can't get here in two turns either. There's nothing indicating he's trying to claim that, so this is probably the priority. Wait, no, that's trespassing against him. That may have been a bad idea. Oh well. Let's just get out next turn and trade him. Get to him. Probably shouldn't have trespassed there. Here he can get cranky. Death hags are finally nearly caught up. The cold fortress, we can just destroy all of this. This is a little bit of money. Lord not moved, yeah, yeah. And our, our admiral down here. More slaves per turn. Mother of the dream. Yeah, we need more capacity for Go sorceresses on. at this point. Probably should have prioritized that. Destructive, this one. Oh well. Hate in oh, you definitely need the dreaded slaver. And this will be our last turn of doing stuff. Can we... will we be able to wipe out Alethanar there? I don't know. Can t I don't know if we can reach that in one turn. If we can, that would be a nice fitting touch here. After all, the jerk came to a, a formal dance and stole the Stone of Midnight right from our, our hands, meaning Marathi's. Not very gentlemanly Marathi of him at all. Last turn. Realm. There you go, Stone of Midnight. This jewel was originally gifted to Marathi by a Narian before it was stolen by an Ard, Cloaks the Wear and Shadow. It was rightfully ours, given to us by the first Phoenix King. Can you believe this jerk? Alright, but we can't reach him. With either Lord. Loic's Fury. So they're saying that's where he can reach to. Master of cruelty. Watch and wait. Oh yeah, well. So I guess we take this and then next turn we can go take that. But we don't want to be caught out in the open. If we're caught out in the open, he can ambush us. So that's why we are chilling over here. Destruction! Revenge. That looks like he might be able to reach us, so we're going to like I said we're chilling over here. Lethanar's main army is going to be incredibly dangerous. Fortunately, I guess we aren't dealing with it. Glorious War. We won't actually be fighting this either. We could be. It'll be a cl close victory. So we can't capture anything there. Our last thing we captured was there. The witch king. With noble like, you know what? The hell with it. What me. This way we no get to chalk Lord. it up on our... We actually have... Uh, here's what we have at the end. So let's... Finish this. We lost 152 slaves this turn, because we only fought one battle. And then we could grab that, and here we are. The end. We are sitting at 26 settlements. Dang, 26 settlements on turn 30. Uh, this is better than I... I think I had a much better start down there, just getting that second lord that made a huge difference compared to testing runs. Okay. So it's where 26 settlements, and we're making 19.2k gold per turn. 
Uh, and then obviously we have a few armies here, and we're chasing out of Lithanar. Okay, well, that is the, the game here, and we will see what happens if we run this using the mod. See you next time.